Hello. Hello. Don't mind us. We're getting ready. <laughs> Welcome Here to we the pre-show chit chat. Out. Yup. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another week of uh, us just hanging out before the stream. We uh, have bought some, well, some of us have bought some Black Friday gizmos to play with. <laughs> yes, and they have a, uh, well, the amount of what <laughs> they're not working that well that's that's what i'm gonna trying to say what did you guys get i have this background which is hanging behind me but it won't really be effective until my actual webcam arrives ah. <laughs> oh i'm so excited oh, that's fun because uh. zoom is uh well it has a very low intelligence score so I'm excited to see Eric in high fidelity. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the glorious oh, yeah. ginger hairs <laughs> on his face. That's not really something anyone should be excited about. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth. Yum. I bought a ring light, but it's not here yet. Ooh. I have my cobbled together lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I got Sorry. a ring light, but I'm not, I don't really like it. It makes me look like I'm really sunburned. <laughs> uh, is it on this? right now? It is. Don't I look sunburned? Yeah, you look a little sunburned. But you know, I th feel like that's your white balance. It probably is, but I don't... Uh... No. <laughs> that's the pain of getting sunburned. I feel like this is the sound of using Zoom. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, I have this... Basically. Thing, uh, whatever. Oh, hey, Friday's here. It's, it's weird. Yeah, my Friday. lighting makes me look all pee peely wally, all, all pale and, and mm. washed out. But really, I'm deeply tanned and uh, I have, you know, glowing skin, golden skin. So <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, it as a flow of fear, you can't yeah. make out because, you know, the internet is just yeah. not that great. Yeah, weird so. filter on you. Ah, these cameras, man. Yeah. Man, this lighting. This yeah. light that I have up here is like a panel light and it has a color temperature thing. And sometimes I mess with it, but sometimes I forget you have to click it. So I just turn to make the light really bright. And I'm like, oh, I look terrible in that. But this time I warmed it up a little. So it didn't look like a farts. Uh, so it looks like Hostel Eldritch <laughs> says, Stephen, Rhiannon, welcome back. Thank you. Hostel. They're very excited that you're back. How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, it was, it was small and none of us took our jobs very seriously it was kind of like yeah. i had to yes you know and so the food was traditional but very mediocre um but it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know like i have this thing about I, I like to make pies but i don't like to get fat i like so... big pies but i don't like it fat <laughs> so i, I didn't like those, put sorry. enough mm -hmm. sugar in on purpose because I just like the cinnamon and the spice and so on. But it's oh, thank you, Friday. Oh wow. wow. Like, oh wow. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, we're just gifted five tier one subs from uh, Friday afternoon tea. Sweet. Oh, nice. Yay. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of tea, I think it's time for some tea. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask what the best thing you ate for Thanksgiving was. So you can answer that and then go get tea. And then everybody else can answer it. Conversation. Are you asking all of us? I'm asking you first because you want to oh. go make tea. Oh, okay. You can't make uh, tea and answer the question at the same time. I don't think. The best part of the meal? Yes. Oh, these candied carrots. Maple syrup candied Whoa. carrots. Ooh. Those sound delicious. Oh, they were amazing. We you had pictures? something like that <laughs> Some from uh, Blue Apron. Thing. We did like a big Blue Apron like package thing. Oh, nice. Thanksgiving. They had that it had had collard greens and mushrooms it had uh like garlic mashed potatoes and all kinds of good stuff it was pretty that sounds really good yeah usually like <laughs> i don't know that was last Chris, christmas eve meal with my brother like i had a yellow meal like i had mac and cheese <laughs> like, really a good mac and cheese meal. not like uh corn um <laughs> I think mashed garlic mashed potato. I had like the yellow meat. It was like everything on my plate was some form of yellow. And I looked at it and I'm like, wow, I really 
Yeah. You're eating the rainbow. You're just starting on one end. <laughs> right, <exactly. Yeah. laughs> well, that makes me wonder how many of the colors you could do that for. Obviously not blue, unless like you had Ooh. like one item. Just like, like a fair a, just challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> or are they blue or are they purple? Yeah, there is that. Like yeah. I'm just gonna say blue. <laughs> oh, I need to look up. Is this the day after our last episode that we're starting? Have we taken a long rest? Stong is not taking a long rest. <laughs> Have we taken a long Important rest? Question. Maybe I took a long rest. No. I don't remember. Bullshit. Let me see. Uh... Oh, no, I took a long right, rest. Fair, fair. That's right. Because we had the hero's feast. So for the next 24 hours, in theory, we have all the benefits of that. Not oh, that I think God. we're going to be like needing it in this particular. So... I want to give a um, brief shout out to Friday, uh, Friday afternoon tea. Um, Friday makes some great tea. Uh, it's like geeky themed too. Oh, and um, she just gave us all those subs. It's not like she sponsors us or anything, but you know, <laughs> I just really like the tea, and you know, so <laughs> it's just FridayTea.com. Oh, awesome! Check it out. When I Are wake there... up on a whiskey so... morning, looking out at the murder <laughs> and the fog on the streets, nothing starts off my day like a beautiful cup of Friday tea. Watch us selling out before your eyes. We welcome it. <laughs> um, well, actually, right here in any... Seattle, although you know uh, it's a little dicey going out to places in person at the moment. So, are there uh, are there any cool names of teas that you'd like to highlight, or if Friday oh. afternoon tea oh. would like to highlight? Oh yeah. <laughs> so oh, let's see. They have a book club where you get a book and some tea that go Ooh. together. That sounds mm -hmm. amazing. That's really cool. <laughs> so she has a tea named after i think every uh D, &D class <laughs> so there's the barbarian oh, really blend awesome. the bard blend oh she needs to learn Ooh. about what the, the, the fungus druid oh she yeah has, yeah druid spores <laughs> she has a tea called the dire wolf she has a, a a tea called uh derpy hooves huh Okay. Rogar, Rogar buys Obviously attached to really dumb horses. horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think dumb animals are adorable. Kaboom is the one that I like. What it's like drinking a fireball. Whoa. It's great. Oh, oh Whoa, sorry. Cool. I was thinking. You still remind me. I'm going to be shopping for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Bioluminescent. What? Bioluminescent <laughs> tea? She, she's one it's of those called people. bioluminescence blend it does not sound like it itself is bioluminescent but it does mm. sound really good well you won't you wouldn't really know until you tried <laughs> um, oh. oh friday right. says uh oh sorry friday is one of those people who has a really enhanced sense of taste and so oh, she cool. comes up with these really clever concoctions and um, combinations of various herbs and stuff for tea and it's pretty amazing that's a real life superpower Mm -hmm. I have run games at her tea house, so. <laughs> um, so Friday says that, uh, that her druid tea does indeed have mushrooms in it, Stephen. Mm -hmm. nice. Oh, but Stephen's go oh, still there. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da. In, uh, in another game that some of us are playing in, Yang Yang has this uh, tortle druid who grows mushrooms on his shell. And not just things. mushrooms yeah not just mushrooms also flowers and weed drugs tobacco drugs. Mm -hmm. he, you haven't even seen his like illegal stash like the section of his shell that's like saved for like the the illegal stuff <laughs> under the counter stuff yeah steven is uh, actually I running that game we were all set to go to a battle and uh, aaron talked the bad guys out of fighting us which was amazing. Favorite thing, favorite thing in D and D. I was complaining earlier because I play a cleric, and a lot of the cleric's um, equipment is labor. So I have a block <laughs> of incense and an alms box and a censer. Censer, you know, for burning things, right? For religious. Which devotion. I love too because she's a dragonborn cleric and she's like fourteen, so she's very new at this. And the dragonborn I am playing like canonically to my novels are very new at this whole religion thing and a little mercenary about it. So the idea that they have all this junk, like the only reason they would have all this junk is they're like, how do other people do this? Okay. That thing seems cool. It's basically like a morning star. We got it. 
right? And and so it's a little weird. And then I was so I was complaining about the fact that we're going out into the wilderness and I'm bringing a sensor and some incense. And then these dudes roll up and they're like, "What did the wizard give you? Give it to us!" And so if they were going to attack us to get my, to get whatever it was, right? Character stomps off and pulls out this sensor and is like, "Here it is. This is what the wizard gave us." And they're like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's magic. Meanwhile, hey, yep. I'm taking cover, magic ready artifact. to snipe them with my. <laughs> yeah so and then going through work. his spells like what what am i going to cast and aaron's <laughs> yeah. like i got this <laughs> uh I my character so aaron's character also has a baby bat and my character right. growing stuff on my shell mm-hmm. was basically like begging her to give me some of that beautiful beautiful sweet it's bat guano poop on your shell <laughs> yeah smear it on my shell please thank you like did not get to sing of... baby bat and draconic like to the tune of baby shark I'm going to oh, start a uh, bat guano uh, business. People casting fireballs need uh, right? resources. This is my, my like random dragonborn economy TED talk, right? Oh. That like when Timanth are plonked down and at what point they decided they need to have a cavalry that is a bunch of giant bats, but there is a whole like squadron of giant bat flyers and they roost up in the top of this pyramid city that's enclosed. They are going to have so much bat poop. And what do you do with it? Well, you can like fertilize things with it. And they're excellent like farmers and gardeners, but these are giant bats. I have to assume the poop level is a lot, but you need guano for fireballs. So I definitely gave the ninth red cohort is specifically a a legion of the the dragonborn army that is all wizards that specialize in fireball. I have to assume that yeah, it's a stabilized that component economy a bit. Mm. You have people mm. looking for like artisanal mm. guano because the Jared Thymar stuff is very basic. Easy to cut. <laughs> yes. So Rhiannon, how was mm. your Thanksgiving? It's the best thing you ate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving on from bat guano. <laughs> I'll be right back, everybody. Mm, smooth transition. <laughs> well, I, I feel like I should say it was one of the things that were like homemade, but what it actually was is that um, my sister's partner brought a Costco pie, which is like, I've never seen oh, Costco pies insane. before, but they're insane. It's like a trampoline. Like, oh, I, wow. I don't want to like have an actual wedge that goes to the middle. I want like a little sub wedge because otherwise like it's too long <laughs> for typical dessert plate. Anyway, um, it was a good pie. It was an apple pie, but the crust, they do this kind of like, I don't know, um, sugar glaze on it. Mm-hmm. And I don't actually like the taste of just plain pastry very much. So a lot of times, like I'll eat up to the edge of the pie and like leave my pie crusts. Um, but like, it was really really tasty and i felt a little like silly being like add more sugar that'll make it better but <laughs> it was the fact that it was a oh it was a glaze my god yeah, you know? rhiannon the next time what? you make a new character will you please make that voice the default <laughs> voice of this character please please well, I, I don't think i could do it 100 percent, but obviously like sock is, puppet like right? they could carry around the- <laughs> i mean that was a terrific that's terrific. <laughs> I have, uh, I'm the story without too many details. I have been invited to play in a in a game in the future, and it, it was suggested to me that I could play. Theoretically, I could play Mahen, and I'm just like, Ooh. that would break my throat. <laughs> 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 like I did it for a minute and a half on Extra Life. I think it would be difficult. I uh, I loved your character voices on Extra Life. They were excellent. Thank you. My kitten, for... my kitten is really <laughs> kitten carrying is the, best. the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> for, for people who haven't heard that Mahan voice, could we get like a little sneak peek? I just say, uh... This session brought to you by at least two glasses of Dry Fly Bourbon 101. She can pick up at your local Trader Joe's or probably anywhere else because it's not super high shelf stuff. It's just bourbon. So, uh, I mean, it's great. Please sponsor us. No, seriously, it's it is pretty good. You can see I've um, drank no, a third of it so far. So, whoa! When did you start drinking that? Not today, I hope. 
I plead the fifth. Oh man, <laughs> this would be another interesting session. <laughs> well, Aaron, wasn't enough time for me to think of something. I mean, uh, well, it was stalling for you. There. You know what? How's Here's your the day, thing. Mahen? This is the line that Zoroshni bought my my dragonborn cleric dropped out was uh, uh did you think you all invented drugs um uh, which yeah. i think if my head said it do you think you all invented drugs i don't think i can do that for long <laughs> plus it makes me laugh didn't you so, also I'll didn't you also stream. drop the drop the do you all think you invented innuendo <laughs> Oh, yeah. Significant looks. Significant, significant looks. looks. After missing the first significant look, the second one, she she's like, "Did she think you invented significant looks?" Like, yes. Also, she doesn't understand winking. I'm going to show this that. to the stream since somebody was uh, asking. You know, Dry fly. Also, I could probably type what it, it's what it's called in the stream. Like that would make more sense. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just having an Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer. You. Yep. It is a uh, three. My the the ratio that I like is three fourths iced tea, <laughs> one fourth lemonade. Hostel has a line to say, and I don't think I can do it. Do it! No. Oh my god! For the fans, this Aaron. is the problem. For the love. The problem with the problem with my head having a relationship is that in my head he is the dad character, so it is difficult to sort of separate that out because you don't want to think about it. And so true. Part of me is like, true. I don't know how to make him flip. True statement. Uh, <laughs> what is this line that he's asking you to say? It's nothing. It's just saying, you know, what is it? Cal and my my. Which <laughs> there's just Ooh. there's a tone. There's you, you a gotta... tone that belongs with that that I don't see. Like I'm already blushing even thinking about it. I mean, you gotta give us a real one, you know, set the scene. What's the room look like? What are you wearing? What's the other person wearing? <laughs> I have to type that scene like this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, well, you succeeded in making Aaron blush, so good job. <laughs> like it's hard. Yeah. Steven just, looks sunburnt. Uh, Aaron is blushing. I'll just uh, put a one check mark in there. <laughs> yeah, now you guys gotta gotta work on the rest of us. What would make Rhiannon blush, huh? What would make Eric blush? Not that I'm saying you Many have no shame, have Eric. Tried. Mm. Well, I mean when you when you drink enough alcohol, you start to get the vasodilation. So uh, I actually I like don't, how you phrase is, that. You start to get the vasodilation. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So raised by a physician, like what yeah. are you going to do? It's an archaeologist raised by a physician. <laughs> my, my mother has this story oh. uh, that uh, when I was, oh, too young to remember. I don't know how, how old, probably like five or six. Um, there was some little like biology for kids, little class. Um, and about how babies are made. So maybe it was when my younger sister, um, when she was pregnant with her. Anyway, um, apparently, like, they were talking about the different parts, and they pointed to one part, and I was like, the placenta! Or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And mom was like, oh, yeah, that's because I'm a physician, so that's how she knows. And then she said later, she was like, no, I just had a very precocious kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a weird tangent, but it kind of links back to Thanksgiving a little bit. My brother-in-law is a huge geek for ancient Rome. And so for his birthday last year, my sister put together a Roman feast, which I helped with, Ooh. which was really interesting. Cause there are like, there is, I have a whole bag. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But I have a whole bag of this herb that was very popular in Roman times, which is a little weird these days. Um, but the final thing was a traditional placenta, which is where that comes from. <laughs> it's actually yeah. like a cake that's like layered, um, like almost like pancakes. And then it's wrapped around with a, a larger one. And then between is this like, I want to say it was like honey-based syrup. Mm. It is weirdly delicious. I it's that a weird flower sounds too. Good. Sounds um, good to me. But like it's a thing I would love to make again, but I don't know how you make this and bring it to like a party 
without a bunch of ancient Roman geeks because you're like, here's a placenta. And they're like, are you saying placenta? I'm like, technically, not. but the C is hard in Latin. So, like in a way, yes. <laughs> it is round, it is placenta shaped, I guess. <laughs> I think well, even uh, better, we don't here, need to talk you know, about like, placentas. So, look, <laughs> chat is begging steps. you. Chad is begging you to not ruin cakes for them, Aaron, right now. <laughs> but hey, somebody else said that yum, the cake sounded great. So right. yeah, different Friday. taste. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lucina. Hey, well, she would know, right? She would know what? Lucina? What a placenta looks like? No, um, what good things that <laughs> taste good are. I am good that, at baking. Yeah, yeah. Aaron I is very Lucina. good at baking, it's true. It's one of her special powers. Um, Cecilia is not good at baking, probably. <laughs> I don't know what what stars would align that would make Cecilia go. I should bake something. I'd who, love to see her try. Who I is know good at try. baking? Like there we go. What's the impetus for this? What leads Cecilia to go? You know what I should do? Oh my god! We all get on a uh, Westgate D and D version of a cooking show, like. She would figure out a way cake to master. smuggle in a pre-baked cake before, I think. I just I don't oh, I like think it. this is anything she's ever Classic charlatan done. move, yeah. I, yeah. I feel a, like a friend... push comes to shove, she eats raw flour before she bakes. <laughs> oh. I had a friend in college who her answer for anything that like she didn't really want to do, but like she could was like, well, you know, if terrorists broke in and held a gun to my head. <laughs> wow, then she'd bake a cake. <laughs> All right. She, well, I don't know if it was cooking in her case, but like I forget what it was that she did usually do her homework, so it probably wasn't a term paper paper or anything. But mm. I previously mentioned the oh, I'll be dice, right back. So, I'm gonna go get my dice. so which irregular do you think would be the best baker? I kind of feel like it's somewhere between Artemisia and Rogar. But I I could see Sturge yeah. actually being a dark horse. Who would be the best baker? Yeah. Who can make the best cakes? Um, I think that Artem Artemisia would make the best from the pers perspective of she would follow all of the directions precisely. So and measurement and stuff is very important in baking. Yeah, in and stuff baking, like that. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Um, also, it would look beautiful because she cares yes. so much about aesthetics. <laughs> but then I think um yeah, I don't know. But then let's see. I think Stong. I feel like if it was like some Stong orc would... food, yeah. then Stong would be all over it. But then uh, he wouldn't I even think, know. No, I think Stong would good. like introduce interesting flavors. He'd be like, oh, you're making a chocolate kind of hook cake. Have you tried considering like using snails as decoration or something? I don't know. But have like, you ever had a kid put a bunch of ingredients like candy bars, flour, all that stuff into a cup and then microwave it? And they claim that that's baking a cake. That is Stong. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Is did you do that as a kid, Yang Yang? Plead the fifth. You know, actually, <laughs> as a kid, the candy bar would not make it into the cup. I would just eat it. Just eat the ingredients. They're delicious on their own. So you were like that kid in the in the famous marshmallow experiment who was like, "No, I'm eating, oh, I'm eating yeah. them right now." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just... yeah. Two yeah, later. <laughs> I was in uh, City Kids 4 H, so I did cooking for the county fair. Oh, um, so cool. there was all kinds of uh, interesting mishaps with mm -hmm. that. Um, usually, uh, switched ingredients, never uh, salt for sugar, but uh, switching regular sugar for powdered sugar mm. does not work. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in any way. <laughs> oh. We do have a bake. Uh, we do have a poll right now that's up. Which irregular is the best secret baker? Secret. Okay, baker. here's the question: Who do you think right now? Just who do you think would be winning? Who would you vote for? On um, what? Like on who is the best secret baker? Oh, among the irregulars. Oh uh, yeah, not so, Kayla. Yeah. I think I, I said Artemisia just because of the, like a, a, the yeah, measuring thing. Ar but Sturge, Artemisia. I think I could see being like a secret. The secret. That's true. That's a secret. Baker. Oh, it's Sturge has a lot around. of secrets. Yeah. No, this is, a, this is going to be a tight race, actually. <laughs> it wasn't when I asked, and I, I liked the answer that was leading. It wasn't what I would have initially answered. But. Uh, I, I actually don't like either of these. There's a... 
It's it's tight. Well, no, Cecilia has zero votes for this. <laughs> this is not would make fun cakes, like the really bizarre things. Thing, so, why is there a tentacle sticking out of that cake? And then, uh, hey, Rogar, Rogar would make really good cakes. They'd be very heavy and very dense. And, uh, <laughs> I, I, on your use chest. It. I mean, if you need to, you can use it as a brick, but I wouldn't advise that because you know it, it erodes over time. But uh, it's a tight race right now. Ruan, eat some of this cake. It put hair on your chest. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Aye, aye. laughs> good stuff, right there. Um. Well, we're gonna have to look at it when we first get back into the game because right now it is time for us to go to the recap. So we will be back in five minutes. See you then.